So we come to the final speaker of today, which is Mr. Yusuke Tanaka. He will show us their technology for uh, waste incineration. Hello, my name is Tanaka from Plantech. I came from Japan. First of all, I would like to thank uh, all of the members organizing this workshop, especially Dr. Sunil Kumar for giving me this opportunity to speak here. Today in this presentation, I will uh, introduce our new type of uh, incinerator developed by us, which many of you here in India, uh, I think, are not familiar with. Uh, we are Plantech. We are an engineering company of incineration plant established in back in 1967. We are based in Osaka. Uh, and we are a small company, but we have a long time history and experience, and we have delivered uh, 146 incineration plants in, mostly in Japan. Actually, we took the first order from the Philippines, uh, 1968. This was the first uh, uh, waste to energy plant uh, Japan exported to the another country. And uh, we used to make a stoker furnace, a stoker moving, moving grade furnace, but we have developed new type of technology which, call, uh, which we call it vertical combustor. But uh, before we, I introduce my technology, uh, as many of you know, there are some uh, conventional incinerators like stoker type, moving grade furnace, fluidized bed, rotary kilns, plasma gasification, but each technology has good points, but we think uh, each technology also has the bad points. So in order to improve these, te uh, these incineration technology, we developed a new type, uh, vertical combustor, which is applicable for various types of waste, from municipal waste to uh, low calorific waste, which is, I think, is good for Indian market and industrial waste, moisture sludge, and even 100% uh, medical waste, packed, uh, packed in the plastic box. So, and I want to uh, uh, say, in this incinerator, no segregation of waste is needed to treat. So this technology was developed by new concepts, but here I want to show you a small, short movie uh, to introduce my technology so that you can understand better. Four minutes movie. Here in Japan, this Super Echo plant in Tokyo has been in operation since 2007. This facility adopted Plantech's vertical combustor, becoming the world's largest incinerator dedicated to medical waste. Medical waste collected from medical institutions in Tokyo is brought to this facility, which incinerates around 50 tons of waste per day. Now. Let's take a look at the features of our vertical combustor, which has fundamentally revolutionized the concept of a conventional incinerator. The vertical combustor consists of a primary combustion chamber to burn waste and a secondary combustion chamber to burn off gasified waste. Waste loaded into the furnace drops down into the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber, the distinctive feature of the vertical combustor, is divided into five zones. From the top, they are the waste drying zone, the carbonizing zone, the main burning zone, the ember burning zone, and the final burning zone. In this way, Thick layered waste passes through a high temperature range of around 900 degrees Celsius and is processed over six hours of retention time. 
In the furnace, preheated combustion air blown from below and the gas generated from burnt waste do not combust waste at the top, but dry and carbonize it. This carbonization system ensures stable combustion in the main burning zone. Stable combustion by the carbonization system and the retention time of over six hours makes it possible to efficiently incinerate waste with low speed combustion. Therefore, the combustor can handle various kinds of waste, including general waste, industrial waste, medical waste, low calorific waste, and high moisture sludge. Since the vertical combustor combusts waste by its calorific value, no auxiliary oil is required during the combustion process. This reduces the cost of operation and also decreases CO2 emissions. The vertical combustor employs gravity fall. This means there is no need for parts to horizontally move the waste as required by a conventional stoker type incinerator. Therefore, you can not only save on the cost of construction and maintenance, but also the amount of space required. In the combustion chamber, pyrolysis gas is generated through low air ratio combustion and this gas is incinerated by secondary combustion air injected into the upper part of the primary combustion chamber. The uniquely designed flow of secondary combustion air forms a spiral flame flow which enhances combustion efficiency. Furthermore, a special rectification device located in the secondary combustion chamber boosts the mixing of the secondary combustion air with the pyrolysis gas in order to burn off the gas more effectively. Plantech's original combustion system, together with stable combustion, minimizes carbon monoxide and substantially reduces the generation of dioxins. Okay, so uh, this is applicable for various kind of waste, and I want to exaggerate. Uh, the heat efficiency is very high, so uh, self-burning limit is very low, even 800 kilocalorie per kilogram. This is flow diagram. Uh, I will skip this slide. This slide. And I'll explain a little bit more about the combustion process of this technology. Uh, this is a vertical combustor, and the waste is uh, dumped from here by feeding, the, feeding by the conveyor or a pit and crane system. The waste dumped here is first accumulated in this uh, primary combustion chamber. Then uh, we put the uh, very low amount of primary combustion air preheated to 300 degrees Celsius, and uh, waste, uh, the air going up, as the air going up, you know, around here, the waste will be combusted. But uh, as, because the amount of air is very limited, very low, so the air will be used up around here. So what, up, what happened around here is that uh, there is no air, no oxygen, but uh, it is very high temperature. So around this area, the waste will not uh, combust it, but carbonized. carbonized. This is uh, the point of our technology. So the waste uh, will become like a coal around here. Then waste uh, dumped from the top, then uh, waste is uh, placed on the carbonized waste. So the waste around here will not immediately burn out. Waste is first dried and carbonized, then combusted and became ash. And there is some sensors around here to see the pressure of the ash, ash layer. Then if, reach the press, the, if the pressure reaches to some extent, uh, the gate will open to release the ash to the bottom. Then uh, waste contains cellulose will become ash, but waste like a plastic uh, will be gasified. Gasified waste will be going up, and then we put uh, plenty of secondary combustion air to burn the gasified waste. 
we can use plenty of secondary combustion air because we use very low amount of primary combustion air. This is a point uh, of our technology. Okay, skip this. Okay, this is a comparison of uh, stoker furnace and vertical combustor. Uh, the problem of the great furnace is that uh, uh, in the stoker furnace, the waste is uh, widely spread out on the wide, uh, big grate. The waste, uh, if uh, the mass of plastic waste is put here and the waste contains a lot of water around here. Then in the stoker furnace, they put a primary combustion air from below, but if there is some mass of plastic, plastic will immediately burn out, so the air going through, flow through, flow through. So the temperature of the grate around here is uh, too, becoming too high to damage the grate. But in our vertical combustor, there is no grate like stoker type, so the air uniformly pass through the waste layer. It means uh, we can use the combustion air very efficiently. Let's get this. And we have very stable flue gas temperature, flue, uh, stable flue gas amount and extremely low level of CO concentration. And as you know, CO concentration is a barometer of dioxin emission. This is a CO concentration of Stoker furnace. Uh, a little bit in, uh, and uh, in our technology, the amount of fry ash is also extremely low. So this four criteria is, we think, the requirement for good incinerator. Flue gas temperature is stable, flue gas amount is stable. This means uh, it's good for the waste to energy because, uh, as, as you saw, the waste become like a coal. So it's similar. Our waste to energy plant is look like a kind of a uh, power plant combusting a coal. So this is just uh, some example of uh, waste to energy uh, electricity generated. 300 tons plant will generate 3 megawatt by combusting general waste. And we also developed the original uh, bug house, dry type chemical reaction bug house and uh, it is capable of meeting EU emission regulation, which is the most strict regulation in the world. And actually, we achieved uh, zero emission of dioxin in, uh, in the plant we constructed in Japan. This is uh, OM and DM cost advantages. Auxiliary fuel, supplementary fuel, like a kerosene, is not needed during operation. You need it only for startup and less mechanical troubles due to no moving parts in high temperature zone in compared to the stoker type of a fluidized bed. And the ease of operation, a simple structure, and low amount of chemicals needed due to reduce the quantities of fry ash. Fry ash contains heavy metals, so you need a chemical to stabilize the fry ash and obviously a small footprint will be needed. And I, I show you some project photograph. This is a plant you saw in the movie. This is for 100% medical waste with power generation. This is a only a vertical combustor we exported to the Dubai UAE international medical waste. This is a Tanegashima plant, municipal waste. This is a Nishimonbetsu. This is a Ito. And this is a plant we constructed for the disaster waste. The, you know, the March 11, um, um, 2011, uh, the 
great earthquake happened in Japan, and uh, I think 20 million, 20 million tons of waste was generated in one day. So the Japanese government tried to construct uh, some uh, insulation plants to treat the disaster waste. Then we put a 285 tons plant in Miyagi Prefecture. The disaster waste is mainly from uh, mainly of, of, of waste plastic, wood, and paper. So uh, our technology is good, but uh, the only problem is, is cost. So Japan price is too expensive for Indian market. So now we are trying to find a partner in India. And actually, we almost found a good partner in India. So uh, I think we can propose a competitive price of incineration plant in India in the near future. Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Tanaka, for presenting your technology. So since it's late and everybody is probably hungry and tired, I will definitely spare you from my concluding remarks. I would like to thank all the speakers for the interesting explanations and speeches. And